No, it was going to go straight into that Peugeot. Breaking last, last minute. And the car just slammed on. Do you feel that? Welcome everybody to Tesla Driver. Today we're actually going to be doing a really, really short route here. This is back from Chippenham to Calm, which is where I live. And it's actually like a little route that I like to try and do what I call the perfect autopilot drive. So it's never done it yet, but I'm feeling, oh God, I must have, uh, <laughs> I just realized what I had on there. Did you, who the hell was last in this car? Okay, I think my partner, yeah, was last in the car. They've turned on the fart noise. So every time now that I uh, indicate, so I'm going to wait and just go around this guy and then indicate. <laughs> we get a different fart noise. All right, we're not going to be doing that much indicating, so I'm actually going to keep that on. But it also shows the lighter side of this car. And oh my God, now I just kind of want to indicate to see what fart we're going to get. Anyway, all right, I need to slow down. I'm concentrating on, on the farts too much. Uh, so yeah, so there's this perfect little strip of road. It's only maybe, I don't know, five minutes long, but I've always wanted to get the perfect autopilot drive down there, which means I don't have to touch a thing. So when I leave the last roundabout here from Chippenham to the, the sign that says, welcome to Khan, I shouldn't have to touch the wheel in a aggressive mode in terms of like sorting something out, etc., etc. It should just get there the whole way and I should just hold on the steering wheel and it will drive itself, regulate its speed perfectly. Okay, this is where we're gonna start. Let's, fingers crossed, and I'm gonna do the speed limit everywhere. So we're gonna set it at 50. Now the road between here and home, I don't think goes over 50 anymore. So let's just see, um, where are we going on the map? So we're, we're gonna be going to, I am holding on to the wheel as I do this. Oh, also, I've changed the microphone. I'm using the built-in microphone on the GoPro for this video. Let me know if you prefer this microphone or if you preferred it how it was before. We've also got our uh, car back set to three or like, you know, distance set to three. And we're going to be going all the way to the car sign, which when it loads is about there, I think. Yeah, it's about, it's about there. So let's navigate. It's, it's only three miles from back where we started, so it's not too far at all. So before we've had issues down this road several places, this is the first place I've always had issues. It always hugged the left way too much. Now it's gonna regulate the speed obviously a bit better because there's a car in front, but we are gonna be slowing down to 40. I would always nearly hit this. Now I'm not sure if because it's like, a, it's a weird kind of side of the road that I've not seen anywhere bar here and the car didn't like it, but yeah, it, it normally had an issue, normally had an issue there. Okay, we're gonna have an issue coming up now because these cars are gonna try and squeeze through. And the car just slammed on. Do you feel that? That was the car slamming on and it actually went red for the car in front. So we haven't been able to do the perfect trip and that's only because someone was buying a Fiat 500. Who the hell is buying a Fiat 500? All right, what are we gonna do here? This is gonna be interesting. So we're going straight on. That car's gone in that lane. That's fine. We're fine. All right, we're all good. I'm really annoyed. I can't believe we weren't getting the perfect trip. I honestly thought we were going to, except for that one lorry. But again, th those kind of things are going to happen. So we need to bring the speed up now. Oh, no, it does go up to a 60. My bad. I'll go 55 anyway. And we'll just bring the speed up this hill. Now, on the, fir the first time I bought this car back in 20, what, 17, 18, um, I had issues with any kind of hill, any kind of gradient with a corner was an issue. Now it does it absolutely fine. So before here, I've nearly gone into there. Um, and then as we've come up here before, I've nearly gone onto the right hand side. Oh, it goes back to a 50. Okay, I'm gonna pull that down. It veers off right and left. And that makes it really, really tough to kind of just feel that confident with when it's on. Whereas now it doesn't have that issue. This is a totally new road layout here for this housing estate. So it's got a little bit tighter, as you can see. And are we getting close to that left side? A little bit, a little bit, but not too much. I haven't got the left camera today. Sorry about that, everyone. Actually, that was fine. There were no issues there at all. And again, our lines are all over the place. But it's done that really well and we've we've kept true on here. We also had the issue, if you remember before, where it didn't like this pavement. The fact that it has like grass on the verge of the pavement, then the pavement, then grass. I think it got confused again about where the lines were. I had it once tell me that this was actually a dual carriageway. But you can see it's following the cars in front really nicely. We are getting cars up here on the other side of the road though. And they apparently are driving in our direction. 
So when you see this Audi come up now, this A3, ready now. Oh, it didn't come up that time. We just got a little proximity sensor. Okay, so maybe that was just a one-off. Here, the road goes really wide without any kind of lines telling you where it's going to be. And then we actually lose all lines there for a split second. But again, focuses really nicely on it. I'm getting a call, I'm getting a call from Holly. I'm going to have to ignore that. And this, I used to have huge issues. The car could never do this bit, and I swear I nearly died down here. So there's no left line. You can see that we're going closer to the left, actually closer than I would like, because of the dip and the gradient going downhill. And it used to weeble wobble here. But now, look at that, it didn't do it. It actually did it fine. It's another Tesla, I'm gonna flash him. I don't think he flashed me back. So, oh, we're getting close to that left line, getting some potholes, but we're okay again. We're okay, that's been able to cover that fine and then as we go up we lose again some markings in the road but apparently that's not a problem for it and this is coming to the end right there that 40 sign is my destination and sadly yet again we weren't able to get a perfect drive now the road markings have completely disappeared for this bit and it was about to pull me over into that car on the right so i'm gonna i'm gonna just pull it off but what we will do is because that was really short and it wasn't the perfect drive which i was hoping with no errors or anything like that let's use it a little bit more i'll actually drive through khan and we'll use it through the town here to see how good is it like will will it work through this town and what issues can occur from going through a town as we've already seen you know we had unexpected issues with like that lorry that was on this on the side of the road that caused someone else to drive onto our side of the road now the car had no idea that it could actually go left into that bus stop to allow both cars past and technically and legally we shouldn't do that we should stay on our road and that person should wait but we're humans we don't like to wait but we also have a brain so we like to let people pass if it means we just have to go in into an empty space but the car doesn't know that this is where we're going to have issues with uh, auto, auto uh, autonomous driving and such. So here again, there's no middle marking and the car didn't like that at all. We've got another car cutting up ahead and the car wanted to brake. That was the car braking itself. We're still on traffic aware, uh, aware cruise control. We've got another car here ahead and it's, oh my God, that was getting way too close, but it was actually going past it, which is interesting. It thought that van was on the road then as well. So it slammed on for that so again the traffic aware cruise control it's good but it's definitely not without its flaws okay back into autopilot we're gonna try and just squeeze past this car oh 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 it's still doing it still doing it and it's coming to a break <laughs> the wheel has no idea where it really wanted to go there okay so this is where it obviously gets pretty pretty manic and pretty crazy the sun's come out though so that's nice but we, we want to get through here without any issues so Luckily, we've got a car in front of us to brake. Oh my God, Holly, please. I'm recording a video. Otherwise, I would answer, sweetheart, but I'm recording a video. And I'm just going to see. Look at it. It's like left, right, left, right. Doesn't quite know where to go, what to do. I'm going to tuck it up to two. This Peugeot's creeping on ahead. And this is going to be a big issue because there's no lines in the middle of the road here. We've got loads of sunlight, but it did it. Okay, did it without any kind of issues actually there. And... No, it was going to go straight into that Peugeot as well. But again, it, it saw that the Peugeot was there, clearly, because it you know made all those noises. But it still wasn't happy enough to regulate what it wanted to do, which was to go around said Peugeot. Uh, oh, we've got a cone in the road. No, we've got to go around it. You see what I mean? All these different little things that we take, you know, in our stride without any issues autopilot or just autonomous driving in general is going to really really uh, struggle with so this is another really good example this is not only a tight road that people like to park their car on um, both sides it also has no middle lane and I can tell already that it's gonna think the middle lane is that like darker line yeah look see it does it has actually done that this car in front is going left and our car is God, breaking last last minute to let that car go and then we're going to come back up to 25 i'm not going to go the full 30. i think the car behind is slightly confused what's going on but like i said it's not fully natural it, it doesn't feel natural so it's noticed that van ahead has no idea to go around it <laughs> i bet you forgot i bet you forgot that it farted 
and are we going to be able to get ourselves into autopilot? There we go. Okay, it's gonna muck up here because there's no middle lane, but I'm gonna let it. Oh, it's not, it's doing it. I'm not sure what it's seeing, but it's doing it. Is it gonna squeeze through here for me? It did, it squeezed through. Oh wow, actually, oh, okay, lady running across the road. Wow, that was close for her to get to us, but okay. Again, no middle marking, but not a problem. Wow, that was actually really, really smooth. This is surprising me on this bit of road. We're getting a few jiggles left and right. But you can see sometimes we have a left line, sometimes we don't, and that is definitely the difference. So around this corner, the right lane, or the middle lane actually, the middle line disappears completely, and we just have this left one. But that seemed to do that okay. And now I'm gonna come up here and just see what it does, because I live on the right. But is it gonna stop? No one's behind me, so I'm gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna completely stop behind that car. Oh, and I'm going to go fully right here and let this van out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, this little autopilot. It was a little extra video that I wasn't planning on uploading. Until next time, thank you for watching. Drive safe.